any closing advice to the young men out there? Because you've been through several generations. What is your, any closing advice you have to guys? What you want, man, I know this sounds cliche, but what you want is on the other side of fear. Uh, I see a guy kind of upset because I said a lot of men are lazy, and they are. A lot of men are lazy. They play video games. They settle for their shit jobs, and they live in the comfort of their homes. What you want is on the other side of that. Unfortunately, the men that's getting all of the pussy are the men that's going out and getting it. And these are men who are short, tall, bald, black, white. One thing about it, they have what women want, right? Um, am I saying live your life for a woman? No, but at the end of the day, we're here to reproduce, right? We're on this earth to reproduce. And sexual validation for both sexes is very important. This is why the people who don't get sexual validation, they struggle mentally. Women who are feminists, and I'm trying to say the right words on your channel, but there are certain <laughs> women who all guys want to do is pump them and dump them. Those women are affected mentally. The guys who can't get laid, the, the, the black pill guys and all of that that's going to shoot up the schools, this is no see, This is no coincidence that when we can't get sexual validation from the opposite sex, it taxes us mentally. That's by design because we have to sustain life. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But in order to do so, you have to be fit to do the job. What happens when you get? What happens when you get? You know, you eat pizza all day for the next fifty years. You smoke and you drink, and now you're forty five years old fat as hell, bald, chin, and your dick don't work. It's no secret. It's it's no, that's, that's, that's biology. Life is saying you're not fit to reproduce no more. So I'm not going to give you the opportunity to reproduce and your dick stop working. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is while you're young and like, that was before the call, but while you're young, you have the energy. What you want is on the other side of the fear. The life that you want is on, is outside. It's on the other side of fear. It's going to approach that girl. It's doing them extra push-ups. It's working them extra hours. It's not being scared to put your money on the line to invest in yourself. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The truth is, I don't care what nobody say. A lot of men are lazy. If you felt a certain type of way about that, then maybe you lazy. You see what I'm saying? Because I know I'm not lazy, and I know my man not lazy, but a lot of guys are lazy. That's the truth. So what? It's hard. Life is hard. But guess who wins? The motherfucker who go play. You don't think it's you think it's hard. You think it's easy for Kobe Bryant to be what he was? Is he somewhere on the internet in somebody chat room complaining about how hard it is? No. You see what I'm saying? And that's why he got to become great. Everybody can't do that though. So everybody don't deserve the spoils of being great. But if you want the spoils of being great, you got to go fucking do it. Period. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. You can complain and cry in the chat all you want to. I'm getting laid. My kids are good. I'm getting money. My life is good. And I'm pretty sure Fit can say the same thing. You see what I'm saying? But we get up and we bust our ass every single day. I've been busting my ass every single day to become who I am and to be provide the world value every single day since I was a kid. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is what it is, man. I say that. Go get what you want. 